and we got a special group of people, and I do mean that with sincerity, because I've uh, known two of these ladies for quite a while, and Miss Annie's a new friend. But we have the folks from Brennan Park with us today, and they've got a huge event going to happen here October the 24th. 4th, and it's kind of going to be an all, well, I'm not going to say any more, but that's why you're here to talk about <laughs> it. But keep in mind, folks, International Academy of Flint, we are still enrolling kids. We're still enrolling kids, and that's okay with us. Uh, we certainly enjoy the opportunity to house your child and educate them. It's nice to talk with new parents, and we are... Uh, start, Dan, you're probably going to talk about something called Head Start here in a moment, but we're going to introduce our team, and then we'll bounce back to Dan. Can you stay the whole 30 minutes, sir? I'm here for however long the camera lasts. Okay. <laughs> or, or 1201, whichever comes last. Okay. All right. Well, let's pop into our special guest, and I'm going to, Miss Sandra Robinson, I know you maybe a little bit better, because I see you everywhere I go. I don't know. And that's a good sign maybe for both of us. So, yes, Ms. Robinson, you've got some great guests with us today. So you'll have to pick up the mic, oh, if you I could, see. please. Yeah, yes, so sir. folks can hear you real, real well. Right. And then would you like to introduce your, your friends with us and kind of talk about what's going to happen? However you folks want to run this, we'll go right ahead. Sure. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Our, our first speaker is going to be Doris Keel. And Doris is a longtime member and very active member of the South Parks Neighborhood yeah, Association and the South Parks. And then Annie Gordon is a um, new member of the uh, organization. She's always been active in the community mm -hmm. and uh, very concerned. So Doris is going to tell us a little bit about the background of our uh, program. And uh, then Annie is going to tell us about the new uh, bill that we're planning for the 24th. Okay, that's great. Miss Doris, good to see you again. It's good to I see, see you. you a bunch of times. Oh, yes. We the went to time. community school director I, class together I, we may have back in that. the day. I don't remember anything <laughs> past uh, <laughs> okay. 1700. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, but anyway. Tell uh, us. Tell us. Yes. Brennan Community Builders was formed out of building neighborhood power. And okay. we're trying to get together to make people care about the community and when they care about the community they take care, they take of, it. care of it so we just want some place yeah. for the people to go to have a good time with their family and friends pride of ownership right and uh, you've got uh, of course i was at your uh, we did a radio program in fact from your annual event that you had about august the 17 18 19 somewhere there as i recall yep. And you always have a good crowd and lots of noise and bounce houses and crazy people. Absolutely. And among them was you. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> That's the Southside Action Committee for Social Reform. Yes, ma'am. And it's uh, a picnic. We just decided that we wanted to go out and have fun with the community and families and bring their whole families and they picnic okay. Basket, or they can get free hot yeah, dogs yeah, and I chips. Saw all that. Yeah. And and it was the thirteenth annual. Oh, thirteenth. Thirteenth annual, but I got the date right. Right. And it, about uh, the sixteenth. August the. It was August the fifteenth. Fifteenth. Okay. Yep. And it's always the third Saturday oh, in right. August. Right. Yep. Now we've got um, now th this this playground. Can you tell us a little bit about the history of how it has emerged and what has caused it to uh, be constructed? Where, where did the idea come from, and uh, kind of tell us about that, because you, I think you lost some land here a little while ago, didn't you? Yes, we did. Is it a response to that? Um, we lost some land to the food bank. Yes, ma'am. But um, we got a little bit back from a house that they tore down, okay. but they haven't added it to the park yet. Okay. It's still got to be, you know, uh, cleaned up and everything. But... Um, Brennan, Brennan Community Builders, we just want to see, we just want to see a playground that's safe for our kids. Now, is the dedication going to be on the 24th then? That's when we're going to uh, put the playground in. Okay, you're, you're putting it in then? As a community. As a community. As a community project. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're getting assistance from uh, or another organization? We are asking for assistance from across the city, the different organizations to come in and help us as a community build. Because sometimes Home Depot and such participate in that. Have you inquired there? Right. They've been they've been contacted. We're okay. not sure whether they're on board this yet. Okay. But what we really want to do, Mr. Winslow, yes, is we want to 
have as many people from inside the community who uh, live in the community to uh, be a part of it. Because like Doris said, when we take responsibility for it, we're going to take better care of it. And that's, that's where we are right now. We're reaching out to the community to come out on that day ready to put that in and uh, so that is a work day that's a work day. See, I think I misunderstood and it's my fault I thought it was a dedication day no. mm -hmm. it's a work it's day. a community bill to put the playground equipment in and this came about even before the food bank um, act annexation of the <laughs> land occurred this came about when we were envisioning re-envisioning Flint we had a vision, reimagining, thank you, Flint. We had a vision for our park where the old, the young, the, you know, the middle could all come together like we used to back in the day and become more, have that community spirit, more of that community spirit. What's the acreage there of, of the entire park? Are you, you have like it was 13 ten, and a half, was say, so ten, now it's about acres. 10 ten, oh, good because yes. three, yeah. three were, were taken, three and a half were taken. Well, Miss Annie, if you think that you're going to sit here and not say anything, this, that ain't going to happen today. I'm sorry about that. So are you prepared to talk a little bit about whatever's on your mind? A uh, little bit. Okay. Thank you. Help us, help us understand a little bit. Go ahead. Okay. Well, I, I'm excited. When I first learned about the project of building the Brennan Park, it's right next to the Brennan Senior Citizen uh, Center. Yes, ma'am. And... Uh, we want the kids to be feel like that someone cares, mm -hmm. still cares. We cared back then, we care now. Oh, your community does. And, and so, so, so yeah. but not only our community, but all across the city yeah. or uh, and beyond mm -hmm. to come in and help us utilize and make this vision. A reality. A reality. Yeah, I didn't mean yes. to take that word from you, but <laughs> you. it just felt like that was the right thing to say. <laughs> thank okay. you. Yes, yes, yes. yes ma'am. Now, board member Dan Smith, you know that we get some children out of that neighborhood. Yes, I know that. Our school, and we're pleased. I'm getting a call here, so let's hope this thing doesn't. Uh, here, I'm going to throw this to you, and you can. I don't know who it is, but tell them I'm busy. Okay. Um, we we have. I know that we have a number of children come from that neighborhood. We have MTA buses run through the mm -hmm. people. Mm -hmm. Thank you. They're a good feed or two to us. And it therefore is a pleasure to offer to kind of share. In fact, we mm -hmm. share another big resource. It's called Thread Lake. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> and I think we're trying. Eventually, Ms. Robinson, based on your suggestion, we might form a uh, Friends of Thread Lake. So that'll build into this uh, situation with the um, with the park, and maybe we can really unite our two parks, both the Thread Lake Park on, on the east side of the lake and you're, of course, you're my, our friends on the west side of the lake. Um, well, let's see, what time do you think folks could start beginning to arrive on the 24th? It's to be announced and so we have a, a phone number they can oh, sign sure. up and a, an email address where we can get their contact information and let them know exactly what time, but we're thinking okay. probably 8 o'clock in the morning because okay. it's going to be an all-day activity. Yeah. And then we're going to definitely give them some food, you know, afterwards and celebrate mm -hmm. after it's in because when, when we finish that day, the playground should be up and running. Well, in, in about 30 seconds, if you want to grab a pen and pencil, folks, why don't you grab that now, and then you, we'll give you the Ms. Robinson or someone can give you that phone number so you can call for further questions. This is going to be a big day, and, uh, you know, I'm, I might have to come over there and uh, that would be get wonderful. my hands dirty. I might have to now. Yeah. Live radio broadcast, I see. <laughs> That's exactly what I was thinking of. <laughs> In fact, we've talked about that with Ms. Robinson already. Maybe we could do that right there uh, during um, during the time. So, uh, Dan Smith, while there's a lull in activity here, have you got anything of a burning issue can, from our school, sir, that I might uh, want to hear? No, not really. But I am going to say at this point that I'd like that I would like the chance to talk to these three ladies after the radio broadcast. But I've heard some things today that I was not aware of and raises some concerns about to me. Mm -hmm. And hopefully, when other citizens have heard what you have said today about parkland being taken away from the park, there are some ways that that's supposed to be done, and I'd like to talk to you after the radio show to find out what happened and everything with uh, that parkland, so uh, just, I'm going to throw that out there, that yeah. it sounds to me like maybe parkland was taken and 
uh, not following the rules and regulations of the city to take that park land. So yeah, there are ordinances, and there, I don't know how the park originated. There may have been a dedication of a certain amount of property that uh, someone gave to the city, and you kind of can't touch that. So I think that conversation might be in order, Dan Smith. Thank you. He's a uh, kind of a bug on laws and rules and regulations, and he's very, mm -hmm. very good. good. We appreciate him so much on our board. So maybe his conversation would benefit you. Know, did I just step on your foot? <laughs> Was that your foot? It can't be Miss Robinson. Her foot ain't that long. <laughs> oh, no. It's, oh, my goodness. It's the extension cord. Oh, extension cord. Okay. All right. Well, that's the softest extension cord I've ever stepped on. <laughs> but I did want to say also, though, the, that the reason why we're so interested in having this park and these activities is because of the children who are in there who need to be connected to adults and um, that mature mind and when I can remember when I was coming up how many adults were in the neighborhood who were just like my parents mm -hmm. and we spent a lot of time in that park and in that in that time, they imparted a lot of wisdom mm -hmm. and patience and just so many things that our children aren't getting right now. And so that's why we want to do this. And Are you still living in the same house? As yes. A child? Isn't that amazing? Yes, yes, Ms. yes. Ms. Doris, what about you? Same thing? Or? Oh, I'm still in the neighborhood, mm -hmm. but I've been at Magnolia Avenue for 38 and a half years. Okay. Mm -hmm. 38 and a half years. 38 and a half years, yes. That's more than a minute. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Miss Annie, how long have you lived in that immediate neighborhood there? Well, the last time it's been uh, uh, several years. Okay. Well, you're Up the newcomer then, huh? Yes. Okay. Well, welcome I'm to the neighborhood. Thank you. Okay. Art, yes, I do have a couple please. of questions for them oh, regarding the, the work day, and that is that uh, you're reaching out to the community. Right. And are, do you have any age restrictions, though, on the people who are going to be coming out and working? Because I'm assuming you're going to be working with possibly some power tools and some other stuff. So uh, is there an age restriction on the, for the folks who would like to help install the playground? There are no age restrictions. Well, I haven't heard any. We definitely wouldn't want toddlers out there, sure. But um, there's going to be something for everyone because they'll be putting out, you, you know, the mulch or whatever, so younger people can do that. We won't have the people who volunteer to be using too many of the power tools. It's more assembly, putting things together, and then just sort of working together to put it in something that has already been established by professional uh, people who know how to use the power tools and that kind of thing. Okay, and I'm, I'm going to make the assumption that if someone only had two or three hours at some point during the day, you'd take that. If somebody had ten hours, you'd take that. So it's not that you'd be there at 8 o'clock and we're going to work you until you drop over at 9 oh, o'clock no. that night. No, no, Come no. out and give us the amount of time that you can, but help us get this accomplished. Very much appreciated, whatever. Yes. But if they work all night, you'll give them breakfast. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> breakfast Sunday morning. <laughs> yes. Wow, now... Then you're going to be laying cement that day too to sink certain things in the ground. And that will be done before. Done. So, okay. So all of the the fittings or whatever that right. the play equipment has to sit on so. will already be there, and then we will just assemble the playground equipment and install Attach it. Attach it and install it. Right. And then put the accoutrements around, which it would be the stuff you just mentioned, the wood chips and such. Right. Okay, that's very good. Mm -hmm. What will the, the base of the playground be? Rubberized or there'll be wood chips? I'm not sure. She's whispering to me. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want anyone to hear that you said not sure. That's okay. <laughs> but we know that it's going to meet all of the requirements, of yeah. you know, and, and it will be AD. Is it? ADA, uh, yeah. American accessible. Disabilities Act. Accessible. Right, right. So all of those things were taken into account so that because we want everybody to it's be okay. able to enjoy it in a, in a safe environment, that kind well, of thing. Will there be a swing set? Will there be a slides? Kind of, can you describe a little bit of that mm -hmm. for folks mm -hmm. maybe? Yes, it'll be swing, slits, uh, swing set, slides. Uh, Stand like up, merry-go-round? Yeah, okay. I was oh, just really? going to say mm -hmm. a merry-go-round. Wow. 
Just a variety of the climate little, stuff too. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then there's this different kind of teeter totter. I can't. It's a stand up teeter totter. I think that's, if I remember correctly, it's a stand up okay. teeter totter mm -hmm. that we have. So you don't bang on the floor anymore okay. on the ground when somebody <laughs> jumps off. Miss Andy, you going to be on that one on the, on the stand up teeter totter? Uh, no, I'm going to send my uh, grandkids and my great grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. And one of the swing sets yeah. will accommodate um, the infants. Oh really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that is so good. Yeah, yeah. so we're we're we so nice. we yeah, want everyone. We want everyone out. Right. Folks, if you've got questions of this fine group of ladies, call right now if you don't oh, and then you've got to give us a number to call as well. But let me give the number to call the station. Jay just fell asleep, so let's wake him up at two three nine five seven three three. Jay, we're gonna keep you awake. I okay. I promised uh, Sammy Jordan we'd do that. Okay. Two three nine five seven three three call the station if you have a question of this group or of our school international academy of flint between board member dan smith and myself we might be able to answer that and now miss robinson some folks i i saw them running to get paper and pencil Wonderful. so if you've got a, somebody's going to give a phone number why don't you go ahead okay they can uh reach us at spksna at gmail Com. Oh, that's the email address. So that's the email go, address. Yeah, I wasn't ready for that one, so do that again, please. SPKSNA at gmail.com, or they can call 810-766-7426. Okay. Let me say that again. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Uh, eight, extension 3006. Yeah. Okay. 810-766-7426. Two six extension three zero zero six. Where does that go? Right to Brandon Center? No, that goes to the city. Oh, city of Flint. Mm -hmm. huh? City Hall. Oh, okay, so they're joining you in this. Then. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay. In the city park, so they are uh, absorbed by the image right. of the, of right. the planning department. Right. Okay. Very good. Well, one other question for the ladies here: Are uh, anybody that wants to come out and volunteer, they should probably bring their own type of chair to sit in if they want to take a break. But should they bring any type of uh, tools, gloves, a rake, a shovel, or anything that you might need assistance with that day? We will have all of that, but. You know how that is. You think you have enough for everybody, and sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. So if mm -hmm. they have their own gloves and, you know, the glasses and mm -hmm. rakes or something that they want to bring. They should bring it. They can bring it, and then I'm thinking about. They, mar mark it with their name so that they can be, so right. that we so. can take care of it. Okay. Yes. The event, ladies and gentlemen, is October the 24th, uh, beginning of right around 8 a.m., Working a week straight, <laughs> come and go, a couple hours if you could give uh, time, that'd be great. We'll do our radio program at 1130 right from there, and they'll have a little fun with that. And then folks will have a kind of a lunch, I would guess, sometime around. Yes. Sometime, okay. And mm -hmm. then uh, they'll be working likely till maybe even dusk, if it would take that long. Okay, so a full day of fun and fantastic. There's a man in the room with his hand up, but let's recognize him. Uh, sir? Rain or shine. Rain, Rain, Rain or shine. shine. Or snow. Oh, oh. We hope not don't snow. Even, don't even say that. <laughs> the S word. No. We don't want to hear that. <laughs> well, Jay, are you going to be there? I got to know. I, I I had to do that to keep him awake. Oh, you going to put me on the spot. I'm not sure. Okay. All right. He must well, be you'll be politician. welcome if you do. He's Thank a politician. <laughs> I can tell that. Okay. Well, Dan Smith, you know what's happening at 2 o'clock today for our middle school kids? Uh, maybe you don't know. I, I have to admit, our, I've been a little tied up with some family business, and I've not looked at the calendar for the week, so you've got me on this if one. If you knew that, I'd have fell on the floor right now. <laughs> but we have uh, our middle school kids, uh, those that want to be part of our robotics club, our robotics organization, are meeting at Kettering, Anna, uh, Kettering University at 2. We'll go there at 4. Our middle school kids last year competed against a variety of schools. In fact, they took a trip down to... Waterford Township and those southern wow, was Michigan school. They came here first down there, which wonderful. was just wonderful. wonderful. And they built, believe it or not, an underwater robot. Oh, okay. <laughs> I have no I no, I do know what the, the, uh, the subject is this time. And all the kids in, in Michigan and in fact across the, the country have built the same kind of, they have to solve the same kind of 
problem. Right. And the way they do that, of course, varies upon interpretation by the, the kids and their leaders. And uh, they're going to start, uh, this time they have to take balls and throw them at a, uh, a slanted board about 12 or 15 feet away and try to put the balls in a hole. So they have to be very precise in the arm of that robot or whatever it is to, to get them there. So our kids will be doing that this year. And I spoke with the kids at noon uh, this past week, handed out about 50 or so uh, applications to join. There's more than to just come on, come, and uh, we'll see how many arrive there on a Saturday at 2 o'clock. Our middle school kids who want to come part to grade 6, 7, and 8, grade 6, 7, and 8, if you want to be there, if you didn't fill out that form, that's okay. Come on by anyway. Mr. Beard will be there. Oh, Dan, even good. though he did leave us uh, for a great, great, grand new job with Microsoft, you probably were that, he's still going to come back and help us with our robotics team. Uh, I had heard Ms. Beard was going to be back to help yeah. with robotics, and I'm very pleased with that. I, I understand there's some other staff members who are also willing to step up and start learning and help out with that, yeah, so we'll, that's uh, a great we'll thing a, for the school. Yes, we will, and I'm going to see if we can find another engineer that might be interested as well. Uh, Mr. Beard said I should go ahead and look for one. So if you've got an engineer in your back pocket there somewhere, let us know. And uh, we particularly need one in the area of mechanical engineering. If there's one listening, we'd love to have you help us. Okay, well, folks, we've got a big event uh, at, our, at our school, of course. The, the, uh, the uh, robotics kids uh, just are going to be with us this afternoon. We just started our Head Start program. Dan, the teachers love the building. The kids are just like little muffins running around the floor in the, in the room. We're having such a good time with those 18 children. And uh, I know you were instrumental in making sure we got that. So thank you for bringing Head Start to our school, sir. Well, you know, like I said a couple of weeks ago when we announced that we were doing it, GISD reached out to us through you and uh, with the work that you and Miss Kendra Giles, our school, school director, and some other staff members, and uh, Diane Thompson, our board president, and Wilma Mitchell, our uh, treasurer, with some of the legwork that they did, we, yes, we were able to do it where we have it in the school. They have 18 students enrolled, which is the maximum we can do. I have met the teacher. She has a son who's enrolled in our school, and it's just a great thing for it's us. Great it's a great thing yeah. for the community, and we're looking forward to a long relationship with the uh, Genesee Intermediate School District. Okay, very good. So we're progressing that one. And uh, big event again that day. Hey, folks, come on, call in. Jay's nodding off again. 239 by golly, we got a phone call. 239-5733, unless it's a wrong number. 239-5733. Miss Annie, maybe they, they're calling you. Who knows? Yeah. Do we have a call, sir? No. no. I thought it was the wrong number. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, let's uh, highlight your event on October 24th, uh, beginning about... Uh, Roughly uh, 8, 8, 8.30 in the morning, roll on in. I bet we'll have some rolls there for folks who roll on in, literally. Mm -hmm. And then they'll work uh, in and out all day. And um, probably, what's the goal now is to actually do it in one day. Is that right? Right. That's right. the goal? That's okay. the goal. That's the goal. Right. When we, we can do that. It'll be up and ready. And I'll see if I can not pop over there and uh, see. And in fact, I might bring some people with me. That's, that's, that, that would be, be Would that break your heart? No. Okay. That would be right. wonderful. So awesome. let me do that. Hi, yeah. guest. How are you doing? I'm wonderful. How are Come you? Come on, say hi. <laughs> Who is you? Hi, I am Natasha Janice. Oh, I'm Natasha. Good to see you. Okay. Good to you see work you. at this station, I don't sure you? Do. Okay. I sure do. I sure do, and I love your show well, and all these you. beautiful guests you well, have here today. What are you all today? dressed up for, girl? Well, I had the pleasure of being on a show this morning, the Betty Hendricks show. Oh, I sure. I listened to that a little bit, a little bit. Yeah. Yes, I heard yes. somebody singing. I can't remember. They yes. had the McCree Theater people. I caught a bit of that. They did. They did. I was with Youth Who Expect to Win. I was on that set. Segment today with a right. group of girls I helped mentor called that I, Girls that I missed. Distinction. I didn't catch you. Yeah, yeah. So we had a great time, and now yeah. I'm headed over to Applewood. They have their Fall Harvest Festival oh, today, yeah. so yeah. just happy to be in the Flint community this afternoon. Well, thank, <laughs> you. thank you for messing up my show. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, you invited me over. <laughs> I'm good to see you. God bless right, you. Thank you. See you. Okay. Thank you for all you do. We you love surprise have. guests. <laughs> That was planned, you know. <laughs> That's a joke, folks. We plan nothing here. Okay. But anyway, Miss Annie, you've been the quietest. And I don't know if that's uh, the way you were brought up or not. But any, any closing remarks you'd like to say about this event? Yes, we would like to uh, really emphasize we need at least 60 Ooh. or more volunteers ask, to sign ask. up. That's great. And they can get into contact with any of the members of, of, of the uh, committee. And... 
we we want uh, everybody input. We have uh, we have talked to the young. We have talked to the young and the old, and we done had uh, got great ideas from uh, all sides of of the spectrum. Mm -hmm. And uh, we are really optimistic, and we really want to see this implemented in our community. All right. Well, we'll Thank we'll, you. we'll bring some kids over. I bet I can do that and help for a while yeah. anyway. Wonderful. That'll be okay. Thank you so right. much for your time. And you're going to have steak and lobster that day at noon. Is that right? Well, if yeah. we use our imagination, <laughs> if we yeah. use our imagination, that steak is going to be probably about that long time to be. It? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like pizza to me. <laughs> Dan Smith, have you got something to say, sir? All I want to do is remind people that phone number to call is 766-7426, extension 3006. Okay. And for the email again, listen carefully, because I'm going to give this to you phonetically. Okay. It's Sierra Papa Kilo, Sierra November Alpha, at gmail.com. Okay. That's S P K S N A at gmail.com. These ladies need your help. They're they trying do. to do a great thing in their community. I know that there's other people involved in it. So if you live in that area specifically, get out there and help them. If you live within the vo within the hearing of our voices in Pakistan, Afghanistan, or wherever, uh, <laughs> Australia, come on over. We need your help to get this playground put in. Thank Absolutely. You. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Thank, Thank you, so much. Board Member Dan Smith. And we appreciate your neighborhood in several points. Well, Abe, the project you're trying to do, that's great. It brings families together. Super, super. Yeah. And again, we thank uh, some of the folks in your neighborhood who sends kids to our school, International right. Academy of Flint. And we've made many friends in your neighborhood. And I think we are beginning to even get a, a closer relationship between the west side and the east side of the lake. And that's yeah. great because we're coming Absolutely together. Right. So that's a good thing. Well, I'm going to give you a high five, Miss Andy. <laughs> Miss Doris, good to have you aboard. Good Sandy, to see I you. see you everywhere. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm tired of you. <laughs> and it's we a, not. It's a good tired. It's a good tired. Right. Yeah, good okay. tired. Thank you so, so much. They're going to leave us, so I guess I'm going to have to close out the way we normally do. Fred Krug, what are you doing over there? He's, 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 he's the one that called here. you. I told him to call you after the show. Okay. But just a reminder, everybody, we're still enrolling. We are. 810-605-000. Art will give you a tour of the building Absolutely. anytime, day or night, eight days a week, 53 weeks a year, including... <laughs> Everything but Christmas. I'm there on Christmas calling the staff, wishing a Merry Christmas. So it's okay, I'll even do it then. Thank you, Board Member Smith. You always bring a little humor to our group and always wisdom as well. And Brother Jay, and good, I, to good to see you. I've quiet. seen you before several times in 15 years here with the station. Yes. You're a noteworthy individual, which we appreciate. How much time is left? I know the Nine. clock says hardly nothing. Nine. Time to sign off, Art. It's got to sign. Now we sign. I'm going to get real loud, so I don't want to scare you, sister. And are you sitting at home looking at your computer on a blog? Are you walking your dog or just sitting there in the fog? Whatever you're doing, find somebody. Look them in the eye and say, Ooh, hey, that's some, some kind of school. school. Bye, everybody. <laughs>